El clamor del pasado de mi pueblo, nuevamente, hace un llamado inmediato a mi esencia creativa para envolverme en un viaje profundo y dar testimonio de su firme existencia. Every time when I paint, I feel like a, it's a fight. It's a battle you love. It's like a, you don't want to see who win. Just you enjoying to be there. I'm born in Peru, in Jesus Maria. And after that, I moved to the first port in Peru, Callao. So all my childhood was in Callao. Well, when I was in a high school, and elementary school too, at the same school, San Antonio Marianistas, I love to draw, I love to color, I love to paint. Well, the art teacher recognized I was good in that. And my school, they choose me to go to different competitions. And I received many awards. And I was so happy. I studied in University at San Martin de Porres. Communication, sciences, and journalist. And also, I studied drawing, painting, and the Institute Superior. Jose Sobogal in Lima until 20 years old when I came to the United States. My uncle, his name is Jesus. I remember I was uh, like seven, eight years old, something like that. He moved to my house. He loved to draw a lot. Beautiful, beautiful. And I was anxious to see how he can do that. One day I was waiting, he go outside to play soccer and I went to his room and I know where he put all his drawing and I tried to copy fast he came to by the door and catch me he said what are you doing out there I was uh, I don't know I, I was so nervous say I was copying why you do that well why you not tell me so I can teach you to draw I think he was the first one the first connection for me when I was a little into this beautiful world of art. First, I was living in Miami around like six years. I was so lonely. The family of my big brother and the family of his wife live in Providence. And that was the reason we follow my brother. Just I arrived in the middle of the winter time with the snow, cold, imagine, came from, from Miami, sunny. And that was so, insulated in one of the rooms of my father offered me at that time. And I started to create this beautiful series of painting, Native Land, Tierra Natal. And my mom, she was so, so lovely to take me that feeling to memories of my country. I think she was the key, the bridge from the United States to my country. After a while, uh, I found my place and uh, I fall in love with uh, now my, my beautiful wife, Abdulia Cedron Cardenas. So I'm very, very, very happy to, to live in this beautiful uh, state of Rhode Island. And they give me this, this environment, this momento, to be Nilton Cardenas as an artist, to create this and express myself in art. I have a lot of sketches because I think it's the process of design. Where you're gonna put it, the composition, color, if it's gonna be a texture, something like that. You need to design, you need to prepare before you put in the canvas. My big paint is I stretch all my canvas. We love touching, put the gesso. I talk all the time, I talk with my, my canvases. Even, even not ready, communication is important. You build all this process together. I'm crying, I'm fighting, turn the painting down, up, side down, put the color again and again, erase it, go outside, walk. It's a newborn, it's a new baby. They need a name, they need a, a nice dress. It's the process until you see the painting, you know, created. Sometimes I'm not Milton, sometimes I'm part of my, my ancestors, the Incas. I try to, to find out the bridge, and sometimes I do it. I cross the bridge. And I bring all the symbols from my country, in color, dancing, 
on my canvases. I like to travel with my brush. It's a silent voyage, and I do it when, I, when I'm alone. When I put the music, I open that door, and they give it to me, Milton, just show who I am. It's a feeling, this is emotion, you know, wherever people, they see the painting, they're gonna have a different interpretation, you know? I remember one person came, when I put the, the, the show, uh, Living in Memory, one of my series, and she walked around all the painting, and she started to cry. Good, I like that. Now I'm teaching adults here in my, my own studio. They are from uh, poor Latin Americans and they love art. And I try to do it in their language. I need to translate all the books from here in Spanish and I give it to them the right way, how they can learn art. We started with two-dimensional design. After that, we're gonna continue with drawing one, drawing two, three, color, paint one, paint two, and go on going on, right? Until then, they can create his own art. I give you the tools to see outside, to approach, to take the idea from the world because art is around us. Remember, when you create something, do it with passion and do it with love and discipline. It's the more important discipline. And that's it. I have something, I have something move inside of me. So I need to show how I feel. I think I create my own language. I can do something with my hand. So I think it's the, the most beautiful way to show where I come from. And I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue to grow. In. And I don't wanna finish. I don't wanna see that I'm done. And I enjoy my life. This is part of the artist, the communication, what do you wanna paint exactly? What are you gonna say in your painting? I try and I do my best. You know, I continue to study too and learn about it. Art is for the people. Just I want to show the world. Hoy es nuestro día. Hoy es el día del Perú. Que viva el Perú. My country, they have a lot of history. I would like to, to show the people where I come from. I'm the ambassador in art of my country to the world. I'm gonna open it many times, the door. I'm gonna open it, open it, open it, reopen it. Maybe it's gonna change it, maybe not. But I'm gonna be opening many times to talk about it, about Peru.